We're previewing the 2014 Iowa State Cyclones, a team who last year was defined by a close, tough, agonizing loss to Texas. They didn't get any other key wins, and they didn't get to a bowl game. Here's what you need to know to be an expert about this year's team. Oh, you're a clever one. The key to Iowa State and the key to the Big 12 is you got to be able to score, and they can't do that. Now, if you don't have a great offense, you can somewhat survive with a great defense like TCU has, but that's not Iowa State. They're not going to have the D. So in order to win, this offense has got to start keeping up in shootouts. they got to get more creative, and they just got to find a way to put more points on the board. Now, for the player to watch out for, we're going to Doug Chapman. Thanks, Pete. You're right, they got to score points and a ton of them. My surprise players, PJ Harris and wide receiver, extremely explosive. They're going to have to use that this season because last year they had the worst rated defense in the Big 12. I don't see it getting much better. They've got to get faster and better on the perimeter, spread the field out, and drop about 40 points a weekend to stay competitive. Back to you, Pete. Let's look ahead at the schedule. They're going to need him to be great because this offense has got to show up with this schedule. Here's the problem. Where's the sure thing win? North Dakota State was great last year. It's going to be solid this year. Toledo's going to be one of the best teams in the MAC, and Iowa is Iowa. That's their non-conference schedule. Meanwhile, every Big 12 team is going to circle Iowa State as its sure thing win. So they're going to have to pull off a ton of upsets to get even close to a winning season. So with the pick, Doug Chapman has Iowa State going. Choose wisely. My pick is 2-10 and ten overall. They open up the season with North Dakota State. North Dakota is a very, very good FCS football team. They could beat the Cyclones. If they start the year off on the wrong foot, it could be very, very ugly. They've got to go to Oklahoma State. They've got to go to Texas. They get Baylor in there, Oklahoma. It's going to be a rough, rough schedule. I don't know. Iowa State always seems to find a way to come up with a win that nobody expects out of them. And Paul Rhodes' teams have surprised before. But you're right. This is probably the worst team in the Big 12. It's going to be tough for them to get a winning season. 2-10 and 10 might be about right. But we're breaking it all down. We're previewing every Big 12 team here on Campus Insiders.